Hello everybody. So we're in London because tonight we're going to see Michael McIntyre. <laughs> Um, just having some lunch. It was very hot on the tube. It's not raining here. But it's boiling. It's been windy. A nice hot chocolate. So we're gonna go to the O2 later. Yeah, if you didn't do what I did, you'd still be walking around with them until three o'clock. At the hotel room. Oh. Hi guys. <laughs> Hiya. We just had lunch and we are now at the hotel. Um, I think my hair is a mess. So it's very windy though. I'm gonna show you around the room quickly. So first of all, this is outside the window. Nothing exciting, but down, just down there is Oxford Street. So we're just on a side street off of Oxford Street. This is table, chair, sofa, uh, sofa. <laughs> a bed, another bed. Hi, mum. It's me. It's a bit messy. Jeez. Desk and a shelf for your case. Oh, what's this? Have you opened this? Oh, a cupboard. Me again. Um, I can't show it right. And the big, massive telly. It's Dad, and here is the toilet. Ooh, very nice. Room. And now, what are we doing now? Sure. No, we're not. Well, I'm not going anywhere. So we will be getting the tube to the O2 Arena. Oh, we got to wait while he sleeps for three hours. <laughs> <laughs> so see you in a bit. Hello, everybody. So we are ready to go. Woo! Who's excited? Yay! VIP sweet as well, so. We're gonna see Michael McIntyre, woo! VIP. And that on my short sleeve polo shirt. That's a long sleeve on. So yeah. What's the polo shirt? I am re ready to go. See you at the O2. Hello. Hello. Uh, we've just arrived at North Greenwich. Yeah. Yes. So here we are. Let's get all starting to get dark. Look at the headline in the paper I just saw. It says thousands turn out to see the wedding. Really? Say hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. No! We are at the, um, yeah, wherever we are. Go to. Head to. Yay! Can't wait now. So we are heading to this building because that's where Costas is. So we're going to get a Costas before we go into the O2. Um, doors open in about 20, 25 minutes. So we're going to grab something to eat before we head in. So yeah. Just got a... I don't know how I'm going to say. It's the same as I am. Yeah, but Just got a spicy latte. So windy. Cheese and mushroom too sweet. And some black forest hot chocolate. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah. Look at like this. Look. 
so I've got to go and sort my hair out and we'll see you probably on the way up or in the room, I don't know. But yeah, see you when you see ya. Bye! So here's the O2. So it's going to sit there ages, you didn't know that. It's going to sit there ages, Hannah. busy downstairs where all the restaurants are. Very busy down there.
choice. Anyway, here we are. <laughs> Welcome. Well, this is enormous, isn't it? I've been doing this every night. I can't tell you how nerve-wracking this is all day. Look at you all. I can't be <laughs> <laughs> then in the bathroom, you start noticing shit you didn't even know you had. You put the wrong switch on the extractor. <laughs> what are we extracting? Stop! Just running the tap. It's like the whole house has to work so hard to administer the smallest amount of. You turn it off. Just shit. 
shit for months. Bleak, depressing, miserable. And there's no special days to keep us going. Pancake day. How pathetic is Pancake day compared to Christmas? There's no build up to Pancake day. Oh, there's only ten more shopping days to Pancake day. We've got the milk and the eggs, I just need the flour. Then I can relax and enjoy the season. You know, today I saw a lemon wedge and I felt all the pancake inside and I'm so into it this year. It's Pancake Day Eve, come on! Pancake Day tends to be the day after Pancake Day when you go, oh fuck, was yesterday Pancake Day? <laughs> it was last week, so it's a Tuesday. So it's on a Tuesday, I don't think it's Wednesday today. Okay. He spent a whole time with the kids going, all right, fine, compromising. Dinner time, every night. You want them to eat all the vegetables because it's good for them. I've got the nicest little ice cream. Right, kids, tonight, you're going to eat all your carrots, all your peas, and all your broccoli. I don't want to be that disgusting. It's too sick. I'm going to throw I'm going to vomit just thinking about it. You can't force me that. You can't force me, please. All right, fine. I just want you to have one carrot. So we say five peas in this little bit of broccoli. I can't do that. We'll all throw up. It's really so just you don't know what it tastes like. It's so horrible. Oh, I'm fine! And I just want you to stick your tongue out and let me wipe the broccoli across your face. And then can I have ice cream? Fine, whatever I want. Wash it and let me brush your teeth. They lie every single day with their sticky little faces. Have you brushed your teeth? Yes, Daddy. Then breathe on me. Oh, you haven't, have you? No, Daddy, I'm not. Why? And flush! Do you know, I don't know how I came to this. Almost every single night of my life, it's me standing over the toilet going, Whose poo is this? <laughs> Lucas, come here! Any minute. Come here! Kill yourself and come here! Is this your poo? He actually looks into the loo. He looks at No, that's definitely not my poo, then. Ozzy, kill yourself and come here! Is that your poo? No, that's definitely not my poo. <laughs> Darling, don't you even. <laughs> the dog's like, don't look at me. I took a shit in the dishwasher earlier. I'm incredibly sorry. I love you. I love you so much. I found about your whole family. <laughs> Bedtime. I'm going to bed. The last thing I want to do at the end of the day is read the bloody story. Come on, story. Tell a story. No, I can't have a bloody story. Please, Dad. I don't think you do this, but I'll scan the bookshelf for the shortest book available. My son's like, can you read The Hobbit? No, I thought we'd read this leaflet that came in the post. It's for a local pizzeria. You can see there's a deal on the end. Daddy loves you. Good night. See you in the morning. Don't play up. Daddy, why are you wearing a jumper? I'm trying something with your mother. Don't be touching me. And that's what it's like, that's what it's like for all children, and that's what it will always be like for children. There will be never, ever a child in the history or future of childhood who will ever have of an evening just go, Mom, oh, Dad, I'm exhausted. I think I'm going to head up early to bed tonight. <laughs>
to check out. Three ten. Wait, the sign.
it, but I couldn't stay away. I couldn't fight it. I had hoped to see my face. That should be reminded that for me it isn't over. Diamonds in the sky and 
get spotted and sign my record label, but also because I get money for my singing and piano lessons. If you enjoy listening to me, I ask one favour that you go onto my YouTube and leave a comment on what you thought of my performance on one of my videos. And my next song is going to be um, No Tears Left to Cry by Ariana Grande. <laughs>
well, especially with those beds. The hard mattresses. <laughs> Um, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment below and subscribe for more videos. See you soon. Bye.